21st century need to prioritize father education and support. Thank you to the United Nations Commission on Crime Prevention and Criminal Justice and the Women's Federation for World Peace for this inv invitation to appear here today. I am Patrick Erlinson, and for 11 years, I have worked on the prevention of human trafficking alongside my wife, Machiko, who's a member of WFWP USA. I first learned of trafficking while raising awareness and funds for USA for UNHCR in Los Angeles when the number of refugees was escalating. Trafficking is a complex web. We live in an increasingly interconnected world in which individuals don't fit into tidy boxes with singular failings. A mother addicted to fentanyl may trade her baby to be used in child pornography or worse, or submit to trafficking herself. A father watching porn may be unaware that every click adds to the demand for more victimization, while withdrawing emotionally and physically from his family and children, who will assign meaning to his departure, often with multi-generational consequence. The internet has provided the illusion of anonymity, incentivizing behavior sanitized by distance from very real consequences suffered by others. Children are especially vulnerable to deception by strangers and video games and chats, worsened when misunderstood at home. After conversations with numerous survivors of exploitation, one critical link was obvious, that of abusive, distracted fathers creating vulnerability and entitlement in their children. Prevention of trafficking requires creatively dealing with this increasing phenomenon. 50 years of study now show when fathers are engaged, even from conception, the health of the mother and baby increases. There is less stress, and children have greater emotional and social well-being. A girl's sense of being worthy to be loved is linked to the father, and the way a father plays, often disregarding potential harm, provides a sense of security in boys and girls to confidently reach beyond their comfort zones. There's also evidence of increased empathy resulting from father play. Father Khan is my effort to expand the embrace of the familial and social responsibility that comes with fatherhood and to reinforce the positive personal benefits of father engagement at home and in the world. Support for fathers reduces the vulnerabilities preyed upon by exploiters and the demand that drives trafficking. Thank you very much.